Hello friends, happy Wednesday to you. Welcome back into the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here. It's time to take a look at this week's PGA Tour exclusive event on Nordlein. Nordlein coming out for Golden Tea Live and Golden Tea PGA Tour 2022 games on Monday, November 14th. Uh, don't worry about the fact that I'm chipping out of the rough for birdie on hole one. Uh, there was a little bit of a technical glitch on my end, but I wanted you guys to see the second setup when you go to goldentea.com slash locations and find a Golden Tee PGA Tour 2022 game near you. The video we shot on Monday will be the first setup you'll see there, and this is going to be the second one. This feels like it's going in the hole, and, well, it was close enough. I feel good about that. If you have not had a chance to play this course, it's a really interesting one. This is the season three tees of Nordling, so you didn't get a chance to see season one, or excuse me, season two, the launch tees, but you will eventually at a certain point. A lot of par threes, a lot of drivable par fours, but a lot of water, a lot of ice, a lot of snow. Some good potential to throw things off on your game a little bit here and there. Like this one here, this par five. Make sure you blow that past the snow as much as you can because if you get stuck in that snow, you're gonna have to try some rock bank shots up there and I don't know if that's the best thing possible for you. But at some point we'll do a video and see, um, see how bouncy the rock is over there. But just like every video, putting for eagle on a par five or a drivable par four and putting in for birdie on the par threes is going to be your main goal. Now, if you've never played in our weekly events before, it's been a little while, you have to play at least five games to qualify. Your total score, great shot points, and golden tee points will be combined and then we pay out the top X number of players depending on what the uh, setup for that week is. You go to goldentee.com slash event, you can see the details of this week. And again, goldentee.com slash locations to find a PGA Tour game that is updated to 2022 near you. A lot of elevation changes with the season three tees of Norlin, so just be careful with that. Hole six, this par three, and hole nine, especially. Um, some of those can get very tricky. Hole seven here, par five, not a lot of wiggle room. You're gonna wanna make sure that you hit a high tee driver, whether that's a nine and a half, eight and a half, ten and a half. Should be able to get up there because the wind isn't really blowing in your face. But again, it's par five, so the farther you get, the better chance you have to drop it in for double eagle from the fairway, like I'm hoping to do here, a little off, or putting in for eagle at the end of it. You get to hole eight, drivable par four. This one's a really nice setup because there's no rocks in your way. I feel so good, I'm just gonna throw this shot out there. We're not even gonna put any spin on it. Damn it, that was actually pretty good. Another putt in for Eagle. I will absolutely take it. All right, so this was that hole we were talking about. Much, much bigger elevation change. Thankfully, the pin is in the middle of the green. So this one you don't have to worry too much about. But just know, especially for some people like me that have the super spin clubs, even with bite, you're going to get a massive kickback. And if you're using backspin, just be prepared that if that cup doesn't get in the way, you may be hitting it out of the rough for shot two. All right, hole 10, drivable, par four. Nice little ten and uh, or excuse me, nine mile an hour wind, ten and a half degree driver.
Now, don't worry about this. A couple clicks left. That'll get fixed before the full course comes out here on the 14th. But this one, put a little roll action and we'll go one click, officially one click left. See if we can just let that roll on down the green. So that's exactly what I wanted to do, just uh, hit it a little bit harder than probably needed. All right, hole 12. This is a fun hole that has multiple tiers on the green. So good luck. God bless. I'm just going to say screw it. We're going to have some fun here. Oh, that was not fun. Let's try to bounce it off the tier. That's what I get for trying to do that. Thankfully, the rough isn't too tough on this hole. You put in without any issues there. Now, this is the, the fun stretch. You get to hole 13. This is a par 5 that is now a par 4 with season 3 tees. It is tough. But hitting a solid shot on there should get you on the green without a problem. Now I know there's probably going to be setups where the wind's going to be in your face, but 10.5 degree driver, try to avoid having to high tee that so you can keep the backspin or bite. If you've got to high tee it and you've got a wind in your face, just be mindful of it. The green is pretty large, but there's not a lot of saving graces from uh, to stop you from going anywhere else after the fact. Now this hole, every single time I hit it too soft, so we are going to just, no pullback, push it out there with backspin. Oh, come on, seriously? That's like almost a running joke at that point. At least on the fringe, putting in for eagle, no problems there. And then hole 15, this is another one, I will always say it, it is a lot of fun because there is ice here and you can just roll on down the river, except the river's frozen. We're going to try it here and see what happens. Oh, of course, I hit it too far to the left, so I'm going to go in the water. Yay me. That's what I get. Oh, oh, look at that. Somehow. Wow. All right. So somehow, ball stopped on the ice. Shout out to my golf ball. Shout out to the fact that I almost nailed that for eagle. Much, much easier than having to chip for birdie and putting in for par. So... Thanks to the ice man for saving me there. Now, hole 16, New Orleans Design Hole winner 2023 Cliffs Edge. This one, it's a great tee box because you don't have to worry about the rocks being played. The only problem is now the wind is blowing the opposite way. So we're going to low tee a three hybrid. We're going to pull it back to the sea, hit it out to the right of the two. We're trying to cut it in, avoid the rocks on the left side, let the wind blow it to the right and then hope that the cup gets in the way. Surprised I haven't got too much hate mail for this one. Oh, look it. If you don't get it on the green, you don't even have to worry about the green being a factor. That's a unintended pro tip for you. Oh boy, Peter, that's not good. Ooh, okay, so. That's going to be a tough one. That is going to require a lot of love. Probably be a long time before you see that in uh, a Freaky Friday contest because that's uh, it's a tough one. Nice thing about this setup on hole 17. Ice is frozen. Except certain parts. So be careful that the not everything... Looks like ice is going to be ice, so make sure you use those cameras and fly by and things of that nature just to protect yourself. All right, this one's an interesting setup. I like taking risks here. We're going for the hole in one. Not a hole in one, but putting in for eagle. And there you have it, game two of this week's PGA Tour exclusive weekly event on Nordling. As a whole, this course comes out in less than two weeks, Monday, November 14th, where you can play it in casual stats, 
online prizes, whatever the case may be. It'll start going in the Freaky Friday rotation as well. And uh, there you guys have it, goldentee.com slash locations. Find a PGA Tour 2022 game near you. Play in this exclusive event. Make sure you send in those Golden Tee Shots of the Week, SOTW at ITSGames.com. We'll see you guys again next time.